All right, man. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. YouTube is not paying me, so I do what I want. All right, so Playboy. Playboy, 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 Playboy. So recently, Playboy has came out. Well, I would say it's coming out with a digital cover. And before I get into the digital cover and what it is, I just want to speak on the agenda that's going on and how I am not in support of the agenda, but certain things just doesn't bother me as much as it used to, I would say. So let's just start by saying this pushing of homosexuality is getting out of control. Now, don't get me wrong. You can be who you want to be. But I think there's there's a line I think that we need to understand that shouldn't be crossed. I should say, because certain people in certain things should not be intermingled if that's not what people want. So I guess be saying is what I'm trying to really trying to say is there are some people who don't support homosexuality and not in the way where they hate homosexuality. They just don't agree with it. And there's nothing wrong with that. People are entitled to how they feel. But my biggest problem is these companies are now taking advantage of people's feelings Let's just be clear. These companies don't care about black people. They don't care about white people. They don't care about anybody. They care about the consumer. That's what they care about. And what I mean by they don't care about anybody as in like individually, but they only care about the consumer. So if they have a chance to make money off of something, that's what they're going to do. It's a bunch of fake woke. And, and I want to say this about the woke thing, too. I wish people stop putting woke and homosexuality in the same sentence. It's not the same. Like, it's two different entities. One is based off of sexuality and the other one is based off of, you know, seeing things for what they really are. So I wish people stop trying to make it be the same it's not and but so playboy comes out and let's just be clear playboy for the past 50 i would say 50 years or more i guess i don't know always was for men and i heard they had a play girl magazine and that was for women but see my issue is you put a gay man on the front of the cover. What is that for? What is it for? Like, who is it for? Because if I'm a straight man and I see that, what do you think I'm going to do? Not, not pay, buy your stuff no more. And it's like, these companies are willing to risk it all just to cater to a certain demographic because they think that that's where the world is going. Now, again, it's nothing against homosexuality. If you want to be who you want to be, that's on you. I just, I'm not that guy, but why do you have to force it down people's throat? What is that for? What is this? What is this for? It's like, okay, I'm going to, Force this on you, no matter what. But what is it for? Why? Why are you forcing it on me? Like, why not make a separate magazine for that? But see, then you have people saying, oh, well, that's the whole point. People want to be integrated. But you can't, listen, 
I just want y'all to be clear. You can say it's different times. The times have changed. That's garbage. That's garbage. If you're trying to use that as an argument saying times have changed, it's garbage because 90% of people don't agree with it. So the times hasn't changed. It's just maybe you want the times to change, but they haven't changed. Simple as that. 90% of people probably don't agree with that. And I've thought I'll even I'll even throw you a, a, a extra five and say that, you know, eighty five percent of the people probably don't agree with it. But you can't get mad if people don't agree with it. So they put a black man on the front of the cover. But here's the kicker. Here's the best part. When you click the link, it takes you to all women's clothing. And all women. And all the women are white. Now, you know me. I don't usually bring up race. I don't bring up race. I don't. Because I think we all equal. It is what it is. But here's my problem with this. You use the black man as bait. And it's because I don't know what they're trying to prove with putting homosexual black men at the forefront of everything, but I'm not, I'm not cool with it. I'm not cool with it. Where where are, where's the representation for straight black men? Where's that at? Outside of Kevin Samuels and and, uh, Dr. Umar, where's these big companies representing black men? Outside of saying uh, uh, Black Lives Matter, but actually not represent a black man. Oh, we're, 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 well, well, we stood with Kaepernick. No, you stood with Kaepernick to make money. So he kneeled and y'all made money off of it. Because I don't see y'all promoting any straight black man. Where's the representation for that? That's That's my question. Because it just seems to me like every time... I see a big commercial or company or whatever is always a gay black man. Always. For the most part, from what I see, maybe y'all can point out something different, but that's what I see. And it's like, I'm so sick and tired of y'all not representing all black men. It's like, okay, this is clearly an agenda. Let's, let's just promote, let's promote these homosexual black men. And again, it's nothing wrong with that. That's what y'all want to support. That's what y'all want to promote. But you also got to look at, there's a lot of straight black men. Why you don't promote that? I don't see that. It's unbelievable. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hey man, listen. I don't have nothing against homosexuality. I don't. I don't have nothing against gay men. I don't. Gay women. I don't. I just have an issue with you always putting gay black men at the forefront as if that's the representation of black men as a whole. And it's not. Like, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.